Right, today for you I have a ROM review, and it's Asylum ROM, which is based off CM10. So this is a very clean Android, in fact, it's so clean it is, I think, at the moment the smallest custom ROM available, which the size is 116 megabytes. So that means it's going to be very, very smooth. So, let's go and have a look at that. Right, so before we look at the review, let's go and have a, look, have a look at how we actually install this ROM. It's a little bit different and a little bit tricky. We certainly don't want to brook our device, so here we go. So we want to install the or a CM10 kernel first. So there's a, the latest nightly zip kernel, so I'm going to install that. Now you must install a CM kernel. You can't just go off your normal safe kernel like you would normally do because it, it won't boot up properly and it may brook your device. So once we've done that, we want to go into advanced and we want to reboot into recovery. Okay, now once recovery has booted up, we want to prep our device like we normally do. So we need to go into, no, not that one, mounts and storage. And we want to format cache. Once that's completed, we want to go back into that and format the system. Then, of course, format data. And lastly, once this is finished, we're going to go back in the unformat preload. Okay. Now, once that's finished, we can then flash the ROM. Okay, now once that's completed, we want to go into advanced and clear the DAVIC catch. And now we're prepped so we can install and flash our custom ROM. So there it is there, Asylum CM 10.1. And that's what we're going to flash. Now this won't take very long. As I said, it's only 114 megabytes, so that's going to be very, very quick in flashing. Uh, once that's completed, we are then going to go and flash Google Apps. Now if you don't want that, that's fine, you don't have to install Google Apps, you can just go on and reboot your device as is, but that means you won't have the Play Store or any other Google applications. Okay, so let's have a look at the system itself. Now once you've booted up, you can import settings from other launchers. Uh, I was using TouchWiz, so that's not going to work for me. Um, let me just move some icons around. Okay, so this is running Nova Launcher, so you can see you can create folders. I just want to show you how smooth editing, deleting, and moving these application icons around. Right, so I'm now going to go into my widgets and in put a couple of widgets in. Now as you can probably see that the experience is very smooth and uh, now this is because it doesn't have any touch with applications or Samsung applications like S Note, S Calendar. Um, so it's a very clean experience. It's, it's uh, probably the closest you're going to get to having a Nexus 4 operating system on your Galaxy Note. Okay so there's an, a widget and we can see that it's very smooth indeed. Um, this probably would be my my choice of ROM if I wasn't going to use my S Note very often. So if if that's for you, if you're not going to be much of an S Note user or you're not an S Note user, then I would recommend you download this ROM. It's very very quick. Um, I don't usually compare ROMs and say which is the best, uh, but if there was a category, then this ROM would certainly be up in the top top five ROMs. Uh, I'm going to roll with this and use it as my daily driver for a few days. Uh, see if I do miss the S Pen features and Samsung applications. And if I don't miss it, then I'll stick with this for a little while. Uh, may even not flash for a few weeks, which is not really what I know what I do. I flash, you know, a couple of times a day. So if you think you want to try this ROM out, check out the description and I'll add the links to the downloads 
and make sure you follow the instructions at the beginning of the video, otherwise you'll end up with a bricked phone. So, yeah, thanks for watching. This is Keeper Guy, out.